Hi, this is Custom Media Creations coming at you with another custom review. Today I'll be looking at my custom core class Bumblebee movie Cybertronian War Optimus Prime. Now, there's a lot to cover with this figure because I've put a lot of effort into him and I've been working on him for the past few days. So let's have a look, let's have a deep dive. So with the wheels, I've added a dark grey coating with some blue tack, which has a nice graphite pencil coating. So looking at the legs, the mechanical detail that I've tried to put in it, I think it's come up pretty nicely. I referenced the CG model for the Bumblebee movie and my 3.0 DLX Bumblebee Optimus Prime. So having a look at the windows, they're nice and dusty with a graphite pencil, 4B to be exact. We've got some lovely weathering with some metallic highlights here and there, looking nice and mechanical and cinematic. So there's also weathering on those shin guards. We've got some nice weathering all around the figure and we've also got a lot of mechanical detail to cover. So on the inner forearm, we've got some more mechanical detail with Sharpie details that I've added to not just have dark gray metal all over him, but also detail it to make it look like gears and cogs. So coming around to the inner arms again, looking at the inside of the shoulder, you'll see that it's got mechanical detailing as well. I spared no expense with this figure. I've put a lot of effort into him and I couldn't be more proud of how he came out. Looking at the outside of the legs and the back, we've got more mechanical detailing on the inner leg, more mechanical detailing, it's everywhere. Everywhere you look has been changed. So we've also got some mechanical detail in the inner thigh and on the back as well. With the battle mask, he's also got some Sharpie detailing over the top of it. And he's also got those two little lines on the shoulders and that's to distinguish him from the Cybertronian design from the Earth design. So on the forums, we also have some more guards there which have the blue exhaust pipes covering the actual exhaust of Earth mode. So I'm pretty sure in the Bumblebee movie, they had the Earth model and they just sort of upgraded a bit to, for the Cybertronian models. So they just added covers and things. So looking at the figure overall, I'm really happy with this one. So here he is in a nice pose, shooting some Decepticons. So as you can see with the head, he's got some side circular pieces on the side of his head. I made those dark gray as well to match the model. And yeah, he's also got some dark gray where the battle mask connecting concerns. And I also had to recolor those like lights on the top of his chest. I had to color them red. I was contemplating adding guards with paper, but I didn't want to ruin the figure overall. Now here his gun is, and it has a bayonet. It's coloured in a nice graphite finish, which I think looks fantastic. It's a mixture of glue and graphite, and it dried up really nicely. So, also got a hole in the barrel, so it looks like the bullets would actually come out of the barrel. I'm just going to show off the figure one last time before we have a nice little articulation overview. So here's the articulation, same as the core class figure before I did anything to it. As you know, I'm a big fan of articulation and I don't like to see any wasted. So I can make sure to keep all of it intact. So I didn't do anything to interfere with any of it. It's also got these little exhausts on the top of his uh, chest area. So he's got those on top of his shoulders. I guess you'd call them shoulders. And he's also got those two little tube things, which is basically just guards. Also, the joints are also colored in dark gray graphite. And they actually hold up really nicely, so the joints don't actually affect it or rub them off. There's also two little things on his upper legs. They're like, they almost look like cassette players on the actual figure, but I'm pretty sure they're something to do with the truck cab. So, you know, they sort of connect the things together. Here he is with Megatron, who appears to have a Cybertronian upgrade. How interesting. And here he is with Soundwave, who also appears to have a Cybertronian upgrade. Odd. And here he is with Ratchet with a Cybertronian upgrade. Hmm, there's a theme here. And here he is with, wait, there's another person coming. Here he is with Starscream, who has a Cybertronian upgrade. This is odd. I wonder where all these guys are coming from. How strange. Here he is with Ravage, which f fortunately was just a Cybertronian anyway. Thank you so much for watching. This is Custom Media Creations, signing out. Have a fantastic day, everyone. See you all in the next one.